If you are a vBulletin user, you have probably been to the website vBulletin.org or you will visit this website at some point in the future. Uh, this is the top website for vBulletin modifications, which are little things that you can add to your vBulletin installation in order to change the appearance or to change the behavior. A modification which changes behavior is called an add-on. A modification which only changes the general appearance of your forum is called a template. This video is going to address how to import, install, or add an add-on. And the reason why I just said all of that long sentence was because people on this website, particularly de the developers, use ambiguous information. And the reason for this video is because they give ambiguous instructions about how to add an add-on. After selecting a, a after selecting an add-on that you want to work with, uh, download it, open up the file. Uh, if it's something like a zip package, then what you want to do is first look for any installation instructions. Um, the installation instructions can vary depending on the add-on because you might have to upload uh, files to your server and you might have to change some settings on those files. Most add-ons install with a very simple series of steps. Unfortunately, uh, as stated previously, the developers on this website do not give adequate instructions and the website itself does not give adequate instructions on how to add an add-on. Typically, the instructions will be as limited as one sentence that simply says, go to the ACP and import the XML file. Well, that's great, but most of us don't know what the ACP is or how to get there. And they don't know what to do next because you didn't tell them. I am telling you. First, we'll visit my forum. There it is. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my forum. And at the bottom, there is a link titled Admin. Click on the Admin link. And this takes us to the ACP, which actually means Admin Control Panel. And if you have been to your own Admin Control Panel and attempted to find out how to install an add-on just by looking around, you probably wasted about three hours of your life and you wish you had seen this video sooner and you wish that developers could be a little bit more clear or that sites that host add-ons would provide easy to find instructions on what to do with the add-ons. Now that we are at the ACP What we need to do is scroll down, locate plugins and products, expand that menu group, and then click on manage products. The frame on the right hand side of the screen will refresh. I'm going to pan over to that location now. The title will be Installed Products. 
And the word product means add-on. How is that for ambiguous language? Here I can see a list of add-ons that I have installed on my forum. If I wish to add another add-on, I need to go to the bottom of this frame and then locate the link titled Add Import Product. Give that a click and the screen will refresh again. At the top of the screen is a frame with the title Import Product. This is exactly where we want to be. And we also have uh, two different options for importing a product. Uh, one is to import an XML file that's already on our server. And if that's necessary, then um, hopefully the developer provided some good instructions on how to use that, because I'm not going to cover it. This video is just for the really simple, basic stuff which means we're going to upload an XML file from our computer. And the next step to do that is to go to the input button and click. And then we will navigate to the XML file for our add-on. And after providing the location, I'll go down and in the event that I am updating an existing add-on, then I want to make sure that allow overwrite is set to the yes value. And the next step is just to click on the import button. Do that and you're done.